Hello friends, James Stevenson and Loki here uh, with another video helping you uh, helpfully understand how to identify the SAE levels of vehicles that have autonomous driving features. As I let Loki run back over to his bed, uh, there he is. I will uh, show you Loki in the Loki's bed cam here. Let me move this over and keep a better eye on his whereabouts. While I take you to my desktop to show you this post, how many bogus explanations have you heard X users make to claim Tesla's RoboTaxi service isn't level four? I've heard enough to make a helpful decision flow chart. So this is how not to identify the proper SAE J3016 level. I made a helpful flow chart in which all of the arrows, <laughs> if I can speak correctly, all of the arrows point to doesn't tell you what level it is. So if you want to not know what level uh, a, a vehicle with automated driving features is, try asking these 10 questions. All of them won't tell you. What's the first one? How often do traffic collisions occur? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how often the vehicle gets into it. The SAE levels don't tell you how safe a vehicle is. They don't tell you uh, how often critical interventions happen. It's not a system for telling you how good the vehicle is at driving itself. People think that it is. People think that a level four vehicle must drive better than a level two vehicle does. Friends, my Tesla is a level two Tesla with FSD, and so is everybody else's who has a Tesla that they bought FSD on those are all level two vehicles. Why? Because the intent of that software is that a human driver will always be watching alert, ready to take over at any time, right? It doesn't mean that you need to take over. It doesn't mean that the vehicle will do anything unsafe. It's just a level two system because the designed intent uh, of the software currently in release, uh, public wide release, um, FSD supervised software, it, the clue is in the title, is that you're supposed to supervise it uh, for now. Uh, the development version of FSD in use in robo-taxis by Tesla is a level four system. I made a whole separate video about the right way to identify a vehicle's SAE level. So go watch that one. If you need to know how to identify a vehicle's proper level, Let's keep going down the list. Who is legally liable in the event of a crash? That's, that won't tell you what level a vehicle is. You won't know even after you find out the answer to that question because that's not one of the questions you have to ask to determine an SAE level. Go read the documentation from the Society of Automotive Engineers and uh, you'll find out that none of these questions pertain uh, to how they classify vehicles. Does the vehicle have a steering wheel or pedals? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what kind of input is available. Uh, does the system use a pre-mapped geofenced area? Irrelevant. Uh, doesn't matter. Not part of um, the classification system. Where specifically does the system work or not work? Doesn't matter. Uh, you can't say, oh, it's only level two because it only works in these areas. No. Uh, people are often surprised to learn that a level four vehicle can have an operational design domain of only highways. What's that mean? It means a level four vehicle might require a driver to drive it to the highway before they can engage the level four system. And then the level four system, after taking an exit off that highway, will give up control back to the human driver. As long as it's capable of achieving a minimal risk condition on its own, that still counts as a level four vehicle. Another great example is what if this vehicle can only operate within one specific parking garage in Munich? Is it a level four vehicle? Yes, it is it's still a level four vehicle because it defined its operational design domain as that parking garage or that restaurant parking lot, right? It can be a very small area and still be called a level four vehicle if 
it won't prompt a human driver to take over, and if it doesn't require constant attention from a human driver prepared to take over. Uh, yeah. What else do we have here? Uh, how many driverless miles have been tallied or reported? It doesn't matter. Even if zero driverless miles have been tallied or reported, it can still be a level four vehicle. How many people are monitoring or ready to intervene? This is a big one. You'll see it on X all the time. People will say it's not level four because it has a safety monitor. It does not matter how many people are watching the vehicle drive itself. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many of them are capable of intervening and stopping the ride. How do we know this? Well, a good example is if you take a ride in a Waymo as a passenger, you've got buttons available to you that say stop ride. You're able to intervene. You're able to stop the ride. It's still a level four system. Why? Because it was not designed to assume that a human driver would be watching, waiting, prepared to take over, uh, even if the system were to alert a human driver. There's no, there's no assumption from a level four vehicle that there could be a human driver there to take over. The level four vehicle is able to achieve a minimal risk condition on its own uh, by pulling over and stopping or whatever. Uh, what sensors does the system use? Cameras, LiDAR, etc. Hardware agnostic is the SAE level system. It doesn't care what kind of hardware you put on your vehicle. What it cares is about is the design intent. Uh, has any given government agency certified or approved it? This is a big one. Hey, the, uh, um, the, uh, th this or that government agency hasn't approved it. The DMV hasn't approved it. The Department of Transportation hasn't approved it, so it's not level four. They don't get to decide whether a vehicle is level four or not. There's only a few questions you have to ask to determine what level a vehicle is, and none of them are whether the DMV or the DOT or any other government agency anywhere in the world has approved a system. No certification is required for level four, only design intent. There you go. Uh, so the next time you see a hater hating hard on Tesla out there, uh, who's hating hard on Tesla today, you will be able to let them know uh, their bogus questions don't fly with you because you know the truth. Right, Loki? Uh, Loki knows. And with that, I will remind you to like the video if you like the video. Hit the thumbs up or the, uh, the heart if you're on X to let the algorithm know uh, that others like you should also like this video, and it'll show it to them. Thank you to everybody who supports me, especially my executive producers, Kathy Hitchler and Rebellionaire.com, and I'll see you in the next one.